Welcome to the Maine Science Assessment Proctor training video. Proctors of the Maine Science Assessment are required to watch this video, as well as the two assessment security webisodes on our webpage. If you have already watched the assessment security webisodes as part of your Maine three-year assessment proctor training, you do not need to rewatch them. If you have watched the Maine three-year assessment proctor training video, you do still need to watch this video as there are some aspects of administration that are different between the two assessments. If a proctor has not yet signed the assessment security and data privacy agreement for this academic year, a copy will be provided to the proctor by the school or district assessment coordinator. Assessment schedules are determined by the school and district assessment coordinators. The main science assessment consists of three one-hour sessions and one 15-minute questionnaire. Schools may choose to administer the main science assessment sessions to students across multiple days or in one day. If a school is choosing to administer more than one main science assessment session in one day, a break of at least 10 minutes must be provided between sessions. If all students in the proctor room complete a session before the hour, the session can be concluded early. All students within the same grade level will work on the same session, for example, session one, two, or three, at the same time. Makeups will need to be available for students who are unable to assess with their peers. Students should be familiar with the assessment platform and question types, such as multiple choice, selecting options from a table, drag and drop, and constructed response. Students should also be familiar with the online tools available within the platform to all students. For example, line reader, text to speech, and other features such as color scheme, font size, and zoom. Proctors can help prepare students for navigating the assessment platform by having students answer questions in the practice test. Students can access the practice test at adamexam.com by typing in the practice test code. Released items are different from practice tests because released items are questions that were previously included in the main science assessment. The teacher version of the released items includes the question, correct answer, and next generation science standard alignments. For released items from the main science assessment, please see the PDF documents on the main DOE's main science assessment webpage. It is important to provide an optimal assessment environment that is quiet, orderly, and comfortable. The room should minimize distractions and disruptions for students as they take their assessments. A do not disturb sign should be placed on the door to alert others not to interrupt. The student's workspace should be clear of extra books, binders, and notebooks. Main DOE recommends storing these extra materials under the student's desk during the assessment administration. If at all possible, students should be spaced apart so that they cannot easily see each other's device screens or paper test booklets. If space is tight, Main DOE recommends dividers or privacy shields. Students are not permitted to access any unauthorized electronic device used for communication or capturing images during the assessment. Different SAUs have different policies for the collection and or removal of student devices, such as cell phones. Some choose to remove devices from the assessment room entirely, whereas others collect cell phones in a tub that is held by the proctor until the end of the assessment, and others have policies that preclude staff from holding onto student devices. These SAUs may require, for example, that the students store their phone in their backpack, which is then placed in the back of the room. Whatever the local policy, students should not have immediate access to a second device during the assessment administration. And if the student's phones are in the assessment room, please ensure that the phones are silenced prior to the beginning of the assessment session. Instructional materials that may provide clues or answers should not be visible in the room. Charts, posters, and desk tags can be covered or removed. Be prepared to provide students with the appropriate accessibility tools and supports before the assessment begins. For example, headphones if the student is using text-to-speech. If your school assessment coordinator has not shared students assigned supports with you, do not hesitate to ask so that you know all students' needs are being met. 
Designated supports are available to students based on the following two. A team of two or more education professionals with knowledge of the student's performance has determined that the support is appropriate for the student and the support is consistent with the student's routine during classroom instruction and assessment. Designated supports that need to be entered into the assessment platform by the district assessment coordinator include text-to-speech, breaks, extended time, small group or individual setting, and bilingual word glossary for multilingual learners. Please note that for students receiving extended time, a session must be started and completed within the same school day. All incomplete sessions auto-submit at 11.59 p.m. each day. Designated supports that you can provide your students without being entered into the assessment platform are assistive technology, medical devices, visual aids such as magnification devices, auditory devices such as noise buffers, directions clarification, and allowing the student to read aloud the assessment to themselves in an individual setting. Accommodations are available only to students with IEPs and 504 plans. Please note that human reader is only an appropriate accommodation for a student taking a paper-based test. Students taking assessments online who need the support should be utilizing the text-to-speech tool. Assessment materials must be handled and stored securely. Duplication of assessment materials is prohibited, which includes audio taping, videotaping, photographing, photocopying, and handwritten copying. Login tickets and scratch paper should be returned to the school assessment coordinator to be securely destroyed following the assessment administration. Manuals and guides are not considered secure materials and can be discarded or recycled. Begin all standardized assessment administration procedures and read oral instructions to students exactly as indicated in the assessment administration manual. Primary guidelines for proctoring include proctoring by proximity or moving about the room to monitor student activity. The proctor should be located in a position where they can see student device screens. Do not leave the assessment room unless another proctor is available to remain and observe the students. Avoid working on other tasks during the assessment administration, such as lesson plans or grading papers. If a student gets stuck on a word in the assessment, you may read the word to the student. Pronounce the word, but do not define the word or help the student in any other way. If a student asks for help answering a question, let the student know that you cannot help them answer the question and encourage them to do their best. If a student arrives after the beginning of the assessment session, they will need to participate in a makeup session. If a student needs to take a break during the assessment session, for example, to use the restroom or to refocus their attention, have the student log out of the assessment and close their device screen before leaving the room. Please note that unless the student has been assigned either extended time or frequent breaks as the designated support, the break time is included within the one hour session time limit. At the end of the assessment session, please collect the test tickets and scrap paper before students leave the room. Students should understand that a score report will be provided to their parent or guardian and that the assessment results will be used by teachers and district staff to help improve student learning. Please encourage your students to make sure they understand and follow directions, not discuss the assessment questions with anyone before, during, or after administration, respect other students during the administration, do their own work, and do their best.